Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is the GT Neo 3 speed test, charging speed test, the 150 watt charger. On the right here, I have the GT2. This is gonna be um, the stopwatch, basically. Bit of a, a real me get together for this particular video. So this is completely dead. The Neo 3 is completely dead, zero. But tap that. Nothing happens, and then at the moment I'm going to turn it on at the wall underneath the table and then start this stopwatch as well. And let's see, um, let's see what speed we get or how fast it can charge. So let me get the stopwatch up. The stopwatch is there, you can see it clearly. Okay, I think we're nearly ready to, to rock and roll with this. I am going to turn it on underneath here. That's on. And the timer has now started. So obviously, because the GT Neo 3 is completely dead, it might take a second or two for the actual phone to launch. Here's hoping anyway. It's been 23 seconds. I mean, this is this is charging from zero to 100. And to be fair, I'm not even getting anything yet. Nothing. It's not a good start, is it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So there is definitely some juice there now. I like to see this view here. Here we go, look. We can see it's shooting up now. 4%. Just over a minute, or nearly two minutes have gone. So we're at three minutes and we've got 19% on the Neo 3. For five minutes, we're on 37%. That's good going. 37%, five minutes gone. Six minutes, we're at 43%. So this is from zero to 100%. What are we at now? 55% in eight minutes. Like I said, we did have a bit of a slow start at the start of the video because it was completely dead. It was at zero percent. Here we go, 10 minutes in and we're at 63 percent. That's still absolutely insane, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, if you need a bit of juice, plug it in for 10 minutes and look, there's 63% there from completely dead, from zero. And I'm assuming we are getting the full 150 watts. I mean, it's there. It's I have to plug into an adapter there, unfortunately. Um, I can't see that degrading the performance. It's 74% after 13 minutes. I thought it'd be faster than that, to be fair. Right, 15 minutes in. We're at 82%. If I'm being honest, I was expecting, I was expecting faster than that. So 
they do advertise super fast charging, 150 watts, but it doesn't tell you under what conditions. Does the phone have to be off? Can the phone be on? Does it matter that it's in an adapter and not, you know, is that, does that have an effect? I'm using the same cable provided. Um, 18 minutes, 30 seconds, 97%. 99%. I've got to get ready to press that pause button. Come on, it's got a hit. No, I think that's going to really happen. 99%. 100%. There we go. <laughs> 100% in 19 minutes and 15 seconds. Now, that is slower than I expected. I did. We did have a slow start uh, with... The GT Neo 3, purely, I started charging it from 0%. I turned it on at the wall and it took about 30 seconds for this to actually turn on and start charging. But still, if you take 30 seconds off of that, it's still only 18 minutes. So that's what we got. 19 minutes and 15 seconds to charge 100%. Yeah, I don't know if it is to do with the adapter I have in the wall. I mean, that is what I was using. That shouldn't really make any difference. That is really hot. <laughs> By the way, have a quick heat test around here as well. 39.8. How hot is this? That's 56, 57, 58. That's quite hot. Oh, nearly 60 there. Yeah, I don't know whether it's to do with that or the sluggish start uh, when charging, but I was expecting faster. Uh, I will probably conduct some more tests over the next couple of days, see if we can get that speed up a little bit. But thanks very much for watching, guys. Any questions, pop them down below, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.